I'm going to show you how I made this extremely simple FM radio. Let's get started. Before we really get started, two quick things to note. One, technically it is a radio, but I never use it to actually listen to a radio. But that's also why I'm planning on making a version 2, probably with this exterior design, but a much better and more complex circuit. And two, this circuit is by Great Scott. He explains everything very well in his video, you can click here or there will be a link in the description to his video. I wanted to make this video because I saw his version, but he never showed how well it worked. And he also didn't add an amplifier, battery charging circuit or anything like that. So I was wondering, how well would this work if I turned it into a full radio? I'm very quickly going to skip through the circuit part since Great Scott explained everything very well in his video, but there will be a full parts list in the description. Now I'm going to start working on the case. As always, there will be a link to download all the models in this video in the description. And if you don't want to see how I designed this, you can skip to 148. As always, I'm going to start by sanding the model with some relatively rough sandpaper. I mark where the machine screws for the speaker will go and drill two holes where I marked them. Now insert the speaker and attach it with two machine screws. This part is pretty annoying, but with some patience it should work. I'm going to connect the battery, switch, DC jack, amplifier and radio circuit together as shown. As you can see, when I flip the switch, the amplifier light turns on. There's not much else you can test right now, except with a multimeter of course. I use some tape to attach the amplifier and radio circuit to the battery. To attach the battery to the inside of the case, you can't use anything that gets too hot, like a glue gun or something like that. I use epoxy and it worked very well. Then I attach the DC jack and switch to a case. I try to keep all the wires inside easily accessible.
I sold the potentiometers from the amplifier and the radio circuit back to the circuits and attached them to the case. Then I soldered the variable capacitor to the radio circuits. I soldered the amplifier to a speaker, connected the radio circuit to the antenna and glued it to the case. I attached the variable capacitor to the case with my custom 3D printed knobs. After doing more research for version 2, I discovered that this should be kept on the inside of the radio. I know quite a lot about electronics, but I've never built a radio before. So that's just another reason to make a version 2. Now just close it up and it's done. I'm afraid I can't let you listen to the actual radio because I don't know if that's okay with copyright and everything, but I received about two radio stations at all times. This was the quality of the radio. The end result was a bit disappointing to me, but that's why I can't wait to try this again. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it.